grace of God in this commission, I don't know that the final. <laughs> Try the problem maker. What do they do here? Then you're not going to do anything. I just collect the tear in the all the intestines. I check my pocket, no money. Ah, I'll say, hey, you don't have to do Do well. If you like, don't do well. This house, you know, they come back. You don't go, you don't go. I say, okay, my father's tenants. Hey, bye bye, problem maker. Bye bye, bye bye, bye. I almost killed the woman. If I never see this woman blood, I'm not going to leave her. Even if you see me, go the wrong. So that's left where I said, the pee, yeah, I just throw him. And if I wake up, oh, my body not to fight. Oh, my body goes down. Please like, share, hit the notification button, and please leave comments. I really want to know what you think about this video. And please subscribe. Thank you very much for subscribing. God bless. Love you. Hello, everyone. This is Emma from Tema. <laughs> I know you might be wondering, who is this lady? <laughs> She's the same Emma from Tema. <laughs> I visited my daughter. She did my hair for me <laughs> for a change. Because I'm so tired and there is no time. So we have to wear it. <laughs> so thank you to my daughter <laughs> for a change. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you're all doing good. I know the Lord himself is is keeping us he will keep us forever as long as we keep our minds and eyes on him so today we are going to squan our motherland <laughs> so i would say this is the headquarters so come along with me let's watch who are you straight up anger when she was hungry to use a knife to stun a song. You use ah, knife. To do what? To stun a song. Hey. Espíritu de la casa del padre. Ah. Who caused it? Me. Straight up anger. Okay. Look here. Mm. Who, is, who is this man standing beside you? Who is he? He's the husband. Sir, you're welcome. Estamos viendo una manifestación de espíritu de enojo. What can you say about the evil spirit saying, sir? Everything she says is very, very true. Every little thing. She gets angry. We've been together for over 26 years. If not the grace of God in this commission, I don't know um, it would have been by now. <laughs> what just happened? Bro? She hits me. That's the proof of what you are saying. Yeah. This Anger, a terrible thing. You can see it's the most straightening. If you see people who are like that, please recommend. Tell them come for deliverance. Otherwise, they will destroy things for you. Please help everyone. God will bless you for that. Look at the children. The grace of God, the grace in this commission has been the one that has been in charge of this marriage. They would like to hear from your children. Right. Yes, who is she to you? She's my mom. What can you say about the evil spirit saying? And what you were saying about the knife. She stoned me with the knife, but I dodged the knife and met my elder brother on his knee. You mean when she was hungry? Yeah. She threw the knife at you? Yeah. Who is she to you? She's my mom. What can you say about the evil spirit saying? She's always angry. Like, there's nothing we can actually talk together. I'm the only girl, and we cannot converse like mother and child. We've never been close, right, from childhood. She's always angry. Y los hijos testifican de ese espíritu de enojo que está afectando a la familia. It's time for you to go. You contrary spirit. Fire in the name of Jesus. All of your body. Your head. Your legs. Fire in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Now go. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. The enojo que estaba destruyendo esta familia, la paz en el hogar. Thank you, Lord. Espíritu de colera. Stand up, you are free. He declared libre. Un nombre de supuesto y ella ha sido libre para la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank
as the family is here today to glorify God for the wonderful thing he has done in their lives. So you're very welcome. Huh? Introduce yourself. Tell us the people who are standing beside you and your testimony. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. My name is Mrs. Aysien Osas. I'm here to give God the glory. It all started when I was small. Who are the people beside you? Okay. My husband and my children. Okay. I want to thank God for what he did for me. It all started when I was small. When I was small, after seven boys before me, so because of that one, they, they carry me like egg. So if they serve their idol, they will kill animal. If they kill the animal, they will give me the chest. If they give me the chest, they will say, lick them, keep them for the idol. My own, I will break them. If I break them, my grandmother will come and say, ah, why you break this thing? I will say, mama, I won't eat them before I will give them to the idol. He will say, ah, my picky stubborn is not going to kill you. I go say amen. So, <laughs> as I they grow, around 10 years. So one day I just come out from inside house. My, one of my elder brother, he they do cage. As I reach there, I just stand. He say, what is Troublemaker. What do you they do here? Huh? I don't understand it too. Maybe they were explaining. I say, uh -huh. I talk to you. I stand on my own. He say, leave here. I say, I go carry this blade. I go tear you. He said, you're not going to do anything. I just collect the blade. Tear in belly. All the intestine come out. I say, come out. I come to the shot. Hey, Mona, help me. Oh. I want to kill my brother. Mona, help me. So people can't come. They put the intestine inside. Tie him. As they tie him, they rush and go to the hospital. As they, come, as they come back. So because of our viewers, we will translate to English mm. as she's speaking in pidgin. And she said her name is Mrs. Mrs. Essien Osas, and the people who are standing beside her, first her husband and her children, that she's here to glorify God for what God has done in her life. And this problem started when she was small, and the family, they do worship idol, that she has several siblings, and all of them, they will cook for the idol and serve to the idol. And after doing those sacrifices to the idol, they now give the children the food to eat. And later on, she just one day she had this anger in her that she fought with one of her brothers. And this led to the extent of her using a sharp object like a blade to cut the brother. So after that one, I know still rest. So I they go to school. But if I go to school, I know they enter class. And they always they are outside because of the anger. And they like to stay alone. So I just managed to finish my school. My, one day, my other brother come. He said, oh, sir, I said, give me small thing then. I said, I don't get money. But I get, I'm not going to give you. He said, OK, where you go sleep? I go come collect the money. You know how you they sleep now? I said, even though. As he come, as I don't, as I don't sleep, he come. Took out from my pocket, collect my money. As I just wake up, I check my pocket, no money. Ah! I say, hey, today, not today. I run, go in room, I don't see him. I find a friend, I don't see him. I bought a run. After three days, because he know as I did do. After three days, he can't come. I say, come. Hey, my sweet sister, see your money. I just borrow him. Take, take, take. I collect him. As I collect the money, just look and say, mm, God save you. Pass. Mm -hmm. So she says that after the experience of her cutting her brother with a blade and the intestines came out, they had to rush him to a medical center to help. And aside from that also, in her school, she likes to stay alone. She doesn't mingle with people due to this anger issue she was having. Then one, one day, another of her brother was begging her for money, was asking her for a money she was holding in her hand. And she was like, no, she cannot give the brother the money. Then the brother said he will collect the money from her later, which she refused. Then she slept. And in that night, on that night, the brother went to her to take the money from her pocket. Then the next morning, she became furious that she was looking for the brother, ready to fight him. And due to that fear from the brother, the brother left the house for three days. It was after the third, the third day that he came back to the house, and she was like, only God saved you. If not, you wouldn't know what I would have done to you. 
after that, I not stop. Oh, I see the fight. If you find my trouble, I go give you double. So if they continue, they continue. One day I fight my neighbor, my boy. Oh, as he just look my, my, for my trouble, I beat him. Anger is a terrible thing, my people of God. When you're watching this, keep on praying and pray for every person that you know has that because it's a terrible, destructive thing. It's not something you would like to have. And if you have it, please. I recommend the people who always comment with anger. <laughs> please come for deliverance. <laughs> when I beat him in the evening, come house. I see mama just see me say, ah, this small girl, I beat you. Now you're the run, they come, come tell me. Mama just turn back, no go. So continue, come continue. See, I meet my husband. As I meet my husband, come do everything we're supposed to do. So my father come call me, say, ah, now you don't marry her. If you like, do well. If you like, not do well. This house, you know, they come back. You don't go, you don't go. I say, okay. I follow my husband. So... So she says that this fighting issue also continued to the extent that the neighbors around her also were afraid to get close to her because anyone that gives her issue, she beats them up no matter their size. Then later on, she got married to her husband presently and her father told her that now you've gotten married to this man, you are not coming back to my house. Go and live with your husband. So it is you that will know how to handle your home. So I married. I can't tell my husband, see, see, they always the verse. I don't know what they call some. But if I the verse, I fight, I must see blood. My husband can say, no, wahala. We'll go. We'll go. <laughs> so we we'll come marry. As we reach, as I go, my, my father's tenants, hey, bye-bye, oh, oh, troublemaker. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. I can't go. As I reached my husband's house, that first time, the second time, people look for trouble. I give them double. But if I fight, only thing when my husband they do, he could just call me. I beg my wife, leave these people. And I say, hey, they find my trouble. I go give them their own. My husband go beg. See, I leave them. My husband go settle with them. Go, go, go. One day, I fight with one of my neighbors again. As I fight with the woman, I almost killed the woman. See, my husband, they call my husband, my husband come. God, they beg me, may I leave her. I tell my husband, so no, if I never see this woman blood, I'm not going to leave her. So that next time, if, if you see me, go the wrong. My husband come beg, go. I can't let her leave her. But I go inside the house, I can't invest. I can't they use sharp objects for myself. Because I don't see the person blood. My husband can't they calm me down. After a while, I can't calm down. You can see, people of God, that get angry and cut themselves. It's not for nothing. We have a lot of them here in America. But you can't tell them that it's not of God. You cannot tell them that. They think it's something, I don't know, psychological. But every psychological issue is of the devil. So, please, if you know some of them, please recommend that they go for deliverance. It's very, very important important because people don't know that most people don't know if you cut yourself it's satan who want blood from them please help them help every person that you think need help share the video so they can hear it i know some of them will say oh the accent is so strong we can't understand but i'm sure they will understand this she says that then she went into her husband's house and whenever she fights she is not satisfied until she sees blood so this got so worse to an extent that even the neighbors around her husband's house, she always fights them. And whenever this fight is happening, the husband always comes into the scene to tell her that, please, calm down, let them go. And due to this, if she doesn't see blood in their body, once she go back home, she'll look for sharp objects to use on herself so that she must see blood before she calms down. So for my children, one day, they, they wash clothes on Saturday. I said, we could not wash my clothes. As they wash, I they pee knife. I they pee yam. I, so the small one, the last one with the second one, they call it drag for soap. I said, Joshua, give her the soap now. He said, mommy, no. I said, give her the soap. He said, no. So that knife where I said they pee yam, I just threw him. Hmm. Joshua dodged him. And he now meet the senior son. I said, meet and blood, come they rush. And my husband run, come. 
rush and go hospital. As he rush and go hospital, they treat him. When my husband come by, I say, ah, which kind of verse be this one? So tell you, don't even know your children. If I say the knife go another way, how you go work out? I say, I don't know. I say, once the verse come, I know they feel control myself. So she said that also a certain time at home where the two of her younger sons were actually having a small discussion, an argument, and then she was uh, washing clothes. She was also holding a knife. They were trying to wash clothes, the two brothers, but they were having an argument on who is going to take this and that. While she, she was using the knife to prepare food at home. Then when she heard the argument, she became angry all of a sudden and threw the knife straight to her son and said, leave the clothes for him. Well, the, the first son dodged the, the knife and he hit the second son, enjoying the boy, and they had to take him for medical care. So after, after that one, the last one way happened, I travel, go on Nisha. As, I, as me, I would go meet my, my sister-in-law. So we reach there, we buy something, we enter motor. So the driver, no one go. My sister in law come, they beg and beg. At least small picky for her, small would they go. The driver say, no, they go, Billy. Me self, I they beg the driver. Small time, I said, this woman, this small baby, small would they go? He said, no. So I dare the driver back. Before you know, I don't hold the driver's neck. I strangle the neck. Hey, my sister, look, ma, leave her, mama favor, leave her. Leave her, oh, her and I beg. God, I, I said, this driver, he won't try me. If I don't deal with her, he go move. So uh, they, they begged me, leave her, leave her, before they call my husband. They put her for phone. My husband called her, huh, my wife, I believe her now. <laughs> if you kill this man, they go, oh, you will. Just leave her, beg, before I can't leave the ma. Hmm. <laughs> so after that one, we call here, say, uh, Papa, remembrance, they come. Three years, remember, me remembrance. So we call them prepare. I call them my husband and say, I go go. I want to make them deliver me because this problem is not too much. I want to make them deliver me. So we call prepare. Come. On the year last week, sit down for that sign. As the prayer they go on, then my husband tell me, say, ah. Okay, before you tell us what happened for inside church here, yeah, first tell us, mm -hmm. you don't get any way where you say you don't try to make sure, say this thing, not to worry you again. I don't try by myself, I don't fit. And sometimes, if I sleep, I they sleep. I feel sleep morning. I feel sleep in the night, in the following morning. If you don't wake me, I go just like that. And if I did the dream, I they always they fight for dream. And if I wake up, hey, oh, my body not to fight. Oh, my body go stand. My eyes go they red. See, I see that fight, I not go rest. And sometimes, if I they sleep, I they see man, they sleep with me for a dream. I tell my husband, I say, no, I will go pray, put before I come come church. Okay, she says that she has tried her possible best to find a solution to this problem of fighting and anger, but three years, there was no solution to it. And also, aside from this, she always sleeps and see a man come to visit her in a dream to sleep with her. Then, there and then, her husband now said, let us go down to the synagogue church of all nations so that God will set you free from this problem. So tell us, what did happen when you come down to the of all nations? So as I come, and sit down there. So after the, when did they pray? Now my husband called me and say, pray, oh, make that anger, make it come up for your body. I come say, okay. So as the prayer, they go on, they pray, I close my eye. As you remember, four people may reach my tongue. All my body, they vibrate. Mm -hmm. And they shake. Mm -hmm. Before I know what I did when I hear, I see myself. They say, get up, you are free. I come say, thank you, Jesus, for setting me free. So she says that she was in a church auditorium and the evangelist came to pray for her and she was feeling a sensation within her that she was shaking. And after that, she doesn't remember what happened again. And the next thing they told her is that, get up, you are free. Let us put our hands together for our Savior Jesus. So tell us now, after that deliverance, what you receive? How you be for us? After the deliverance, I did not mind. I be like, I do be like, say, me with my husband, just married. My children, we are one now. She said that after the deliverance, since then till now, there has been peace in the home, and it's as if she is just newly born into the family. Let's put our hands once more for Alana Savior Jesus. My people of God, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> 
this kind of guy is not a, a good thing. It's a terrible deal. It's not a good thing at all. They are all over the place. These days, I don't know. People just, you don't have to say anything for people to get angry at you. They just look at your face and they get angry. Please recommend. Save lives because it's going to destroy things for them. And it might help you too. You who is saving the person's life get a reward from God. Please do it. Thank you. So, we just want to take you back a little. You've been talking, say, when you've been stoned that knife to your son, one of them dodge and he eats the other one. If you used to tell us more about them and show us which song they talk about. Now, this one. Now this one, the one, now this one, the one stone the knife, but come later meet the senior one, for for knee. She says that it was the younger son she was trying to hit the knife with, and then the boy missed it, and he hits the other boy on his knee. But tell us now, after how God don't deliver you, how you feel concerning what evil spirit they use you do before? I feel bad. But now, since my deliverance don't come, I don't feel like too much. I don't say I don't free. Thank you, Jesus. She says that now, after the deliverance, she feels very bad and sober because of what the evil spirit has done through her. But since the deliverance now, she thank God that she is calm to the glory of God. Let's put our hands together once more for Lord and Savior Jesus. So apart from that anger where be they get before, what about the man where they come see visit you for a dream? You see they see him. Oh, we are in day again. You still get a, a, a eagerness to fight? No, 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 no. Are they calm? She says after the deliverance, she no longer sees the spirit husband that comes to visit her, and now she is calm. She no longer have that urge to fight, and the anger is gone. Let's put our hands once more for Alana Silver Jesus. So, with what God don't do for your life, what do you want to tell people when they listen to you? As I say, God don't deliver me for you. Any problem where you get, just bring and come. As Baba God do my own, you go do your own. She says she's advising people that as God has done it for her, whatever problem that you have, you should bring it to the feet of Jesus, and he will surely set you free from them. So, Mo, listen to your husband. Hmm. You're welcome, sir. Please introduce yourself, and uh, tell us what you can say concerning deliverance your family received. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Emmanuel. Yeah, God is, in, God is with us indeed. Um, I will quote the woman in the synagogue. He said, she said, it can only be God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It can only be God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus Christ. And I want to say a big thank you to the God of um, T.B. Joshua, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. Um, if not uh, for this commission, just like what I said before, I don't know where I would have been today. Because things like this have led so many people to marry and remarry. But grace rescued me. So, for the benefit of people listening to you, can you introduce yourself and the people beside you? Yes, my name, my name is um, Raphael Unoma Aisien, and the person beside me is my Lord. Wow, I applaud this man for his patience. If it's some men, they would have been gone long time. And it's vice versa, right? Uh, some women also, they cannot stand those things. But sometimes uh, patience is also needed. If God wants you to stay with that person, it means there is something in your life that has to change also. Or he's using it to get you closer to him. Only God knows why. But he uses everything for our good. <laughs> Lovely wife. 
and uh, my children. And your wife mentioned earlier that this anger issue caused fighting in the home. What can you tell us about it? Yes, uh, we've been together for a very long time. Um, a lot, a lot of things happened. But although she said so many, but let me add some few words. Uh, okay, let me talk about favor. Three days before they gave birth to this girl, I went to work. At, she was pregnant. Um, each time I'm going out, I always beg her, please, just be careful. All these are distractions, so if anybody just come to, all these are temptation. Don't just ignore them. The devil is trying to bring us down. And they know that uh, all these things cause these hindrances to pray out so that uh, we, we cannot remain like this. We cannot remain small. She said, okay. Well, this first day we went, I went to work, I was coming back in the evening, my brothers and sisters. As I entered my house, she's a very neat person. You know? As I entered my house, see water everywhere. Ha! Mm -hmm. And I called my wife. How far? <laughs> she said I should not make those more. They just cannot start fighting her here, sis. Ah! Hey, and you were fighting there? He said, why should I talk like that? I said, no. You're not supposed to fight. You wait for me now. Then I did everything possible to settle the matter. But there's a woman in my... That time, we were in a, in a rented apartment there. There's a woman there. That one was a friend. She would always tell her that the husband will not do anything. She's, your husband is always scared. If you come now, she will not start settling. She doesn't start settling. And actually, when I came, I settled the issue. You know, because uh, something keeps telling me that the devil is just looking for a way to, you know, to bring us down. So after three days, they gave birth to this child. So after they gave birth to this child, without nothing, I wasn't thinking. I said, ha, if I had fought these people or arrest them or do, you know, maybe she would have given birth easily like that. So I just return all the glory to God for that. So after the deliverance, tell us, what about the anger now? How is it in the home? After the deliverance, how has it been? Uh, after, after the deliverance, it has been wonderful. Um, imagine if I'm, if I'm coming from outside now, my wife will be asking me, how far was your day? Ah. <laughs> It, it has never happened. It has never, our mother is my friend, though. My mother-in-law is my friend. My mother-in-law called me more than my wife. My mother-in-law is, mother is my friend. So, so the other day, I just lied down in the bed. She came to meet me. She was picking something. Inside my mind, I said, why is she picking? <laughs> 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 so... I want to actually, sincerely, I, this is, a, this, is a, this is what I experienced. I'm not telling you what I did experience. People know me very well. This is what I experienced. I'm coming from that place. So I can actually tell you, I can go on and, and forth and tell you what has been happening. Today, I am the happiest man. It's like I just, I, I, <laughs> it's like, do I say I remarried? <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. I just got married. Because can you imagine at times I will be, those days, before now, I will be, when I'm outside my house, I will say, ha-ha. Ah. Now, wow. I don't have friends like that outside. My house, my wife is supposed to be the closest person to me. If I get to the house, we must quarrel. I will just be, I say, God, ah, you will see me through. So today, he has, mm -hmm. he has finally heard my prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You so with this beautiful thing God has done in your family, what is your advice to people out there, and especially husbands who are listening to you? Okay. Um, the book of um, Romans 12, verse 9 says, Our love must be sincere. And I've heard 
so many times from uh, God's general, the senior prophet T.B. Joshua, that uh, you must not reject anyone, whether your spouse, any, whether anybody in your relationship, you have a relationship with, don't reject anyone on account of their weakness because they also have a strength. Yes, she must have been doing this, doing that. The devil must, be, must have been placed on ground. But this person you are seeing here, <laughs> in fact, um, she's my two IC. Mm -hmm. you, see, you see how, you see this mm -hmm. auditorium, this place? She's very strong. She can clean, she can mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. In fact, she doesn't play with me or our family. So don't reject anybody, please. Please. Like what Papa said, he said, whatever you are passing through as a child of God, God is still saying something. If you are happy to be in the arena of liberty, let's put those hands once more for another Savior Jesus. So, we thank you very much for a wonderful testimony. And we also believe with you that as God has come into this family, he will surely be there to the end of it. Let's put those hands once more for our Savior Jesus. So let's just listen to a word or two from your daughter. So you're welcome. Introduce yourself and briefly tell us what you can say concerning the deliverance God has brought to your mother. Emmanuel Church, Emmanuel, good morning, good morning, good morning, hallelujah. I just want to give God all the glory for the deliverance of my mom. Um, I'm so happy. My name is Einstein Onoma Favor. I'm so happy and excited for the deliverance my mom got last week Sunday. Um, as the only female child of my parents, I and my mom don't have relationship because she's always angry. Anything, anything you just do, if you don't sweep here, she's angry. Anything you tell her, she's angry. So we have to stay out of her way so she will not talk to us or do anything to us. Whenever she's angry like this or she's talking to you and you don't respond to her on time, she will just get angry and then anything that she's on the floor... Stone or bottle, knife, anything. <laughs> she just throw at you. So and what it, of after the deliverance? After the deliverance. Mm -hmm. Ah, after the deliverance. Last week when we got home, we were just doing something, and there's something I just did. I was like, hey, she's in the fire, fire. Before you know, she just said, Oh no, don't worry, don't worry, go. I was like, ha. <laughs> I should go. I say, eh, but it's I say ha. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Espectadores de todo el mundo, acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de esta familia, de la señora Anshen, que vino aquí a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones en busca de liberación. Ella nos cuenta que tenía un espíritu de enojo y de esposo espiritual. Este problema empezó desde que ella era pequeña debido a unos rituales que hacían por su familia. Era adoradora de ídolos. Nos cuenta que ese enojo estuvo dentro de ella y que era muy fuerte al punto de llegar a lastimar a las personas que estaban alrededor de ellas. Ella necesitaba necesitaba a veces ver sangre para poder quedarse tranquila y saciada con este enojo que ella tenía. Nos cuenta que le afectó mucho su vida, su relación, su familia. Estaba destruida, sus hijos no podían acercarse a ella, no podían hablarle. Su esposo también continuaba orando y, él, y ellos hoy vinieron aquí hoy a testificar que cuando ella recibió oración del evangelista inmediatamente fue liberada, ya no tiene más ese enojo, ya no tiene esas pesadillas, ese esposo espiritual ya no está más y la familia ha sido completamente restaurada para la gloria de Jesucristo nos aconsejan confiar en Dios creer en él y como decía el profeta Tibi Joshua no rechazar a nadie por su debilidad el espectador permanece conectado nos venimos de escuchar el mejor testimonio de la familia osas asiana la dama nos revela que ella estaba de una familia idolatra cuando ella creció ella había experimentado también de molestaciones venidas de un espíritu 
de famille. Et là, elle nous dit qu'elle faisait des cauchemars. Et après cela, cela engendrait en elle la colère. Avec cette colère, elle se bagarre avec les gens de sa famille également. Lorsqu'elle s'est mariée, un cas est que lorsqu'elle s'est mariée, elle a dit qu'elle se barrait totalement avec les gens de ses voisins. Et elle nous dit que depuis là, elle a cherché des solutions, mais en vain. Mais lorsqu'elle est dépassée par la situation, elle est venue sur la squad où elle a reçu la prière et a été délivrée complètement. Et maintenant, elle nous dit qu'elle est maintenant beauté avec tous ceux avec qui elle gobe. Et on, on peut le voir ici, elle est là maintenant toute souriante et fait tout pour la gloire de Dieu. Son mari a pris la parole également, a confirmé ce qu'elle a dit, que maintenant la famille va très bien. Et pour la gloire de Dieu, elle nous conseille que quand on est au-dessus de Dieu, que rien ne lui est impossible. Son mari également a conseillé qu'il ne faut jamais rejeter quelqu'un suite à ses faiblesses, car tout le monde a des forces. Sa fille également a pris la parole, confirmé ce que sa maman avait dit. Et maintenant, tout va bien pour la gloire de Dieu. Restons connectés pour la suite des témoignages. Tell your neighbor, someone is busy walking my testimony. Amazing deliverance. And we thank Father God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is the end of it. Thank you all for watching this with me. And please, I will say it again. Share. So people who have this kind of anger, I've seen a lot. Please help them. They might not understand you or not like what you're saying, but say it in a nice way so that they get to understand you. Thank you all for watching this with me. Love you, love you, love you all. This is Emma from Tema. Have a blessed day, blessed week, blessed month, and blessed years to come. <laughs> yes, I know Father will keep us safe. So see you next time. Jesus' name.